In this video we are going to talk about bit matching in Tractor Pro. What bit matching allows you to do is it allows you to switch between the two tracks without the bit overlap. To show you what the bit overlap sounds like, let me play the two decks, deck A and deck B. I'm going to start the track in deck A and start the track in deck B. As you can see, one beat is followed by another and it allows the boom boom button in there, which doesn't sound quite right. And let me show you exactly. Here's another example. How one bit falls quickly by another, and it's basically it doesn't sound very good. So let me stop this, and let me show you how to do bit matching in Tractor Pro. So first thing you have to do is you have to play one deck, and this is going to be uh, the master deck. You will see. Tractor highlight which deck is the master. The master deck basically means the deck that is that the other deck is going to, to sync to. So this deck is playing at 126 bits per minute and it's master. And when we sync deck B to it, it's also going to start playing at 126 bits per minute. So to do this, you have to first click the play the deck A, then you play the deck B, but then you, you hit the C button, and you can see that both decks have now 126 bits per minute, and both decks are playing, and all the beats are perfectly in sync, you listen to it over here, all the beats hit right right on target and there is no more overlap. So another thing you can you can do is or you can notice is that if one deck is playing and the second deck is playing too the tempo fader is locked for the other deck and that is because the deck A is the master deck and whatever is in the bits per minute currently selected in deck A, that is exactly what's what's uh, going to be automatically adjusted to get deck B. So if I move the tempo fader up, you will see that that both bits per minute decrease to the equal value of decks. And you can see when I move down, both tracks speed up get track to the original bits per minute, you can just double click on the tempo fader and it's gonna go back to the middle position. Now let's say that at some point in time you want to enable this tempo fader. To enable it, you simply unclick this, this uh, C button right here and that B is here in its can be controlled by Control its own tempo or BPM by the tempo fader. But again, this will cause both decks to be out of sync. And I'm going to demo this. Again, I sped up with the BPM on deck B and let the same BPM on deck A. And again, you can give it a bit overlap where one bit is called closely by another bit. Stop this. Now let me show you one scenario where you can have two tracks bit synced but their bits are still overlapping. And let me show you what the scenario is and how you can fix that. So in this case I'm going to load the deck, load the track into deck A. And this track is at 125 bits per minute. 
and I'm going to load a track in deck B which is at 130 bits per minute and I'm going to sync tra the track in deck B to track in deck A and let's see if there's overlap so I'm going to press play on deck A Both tracks are playing, but you can see there is still you can still there is still there is still overlap in. Let me see it. So now deck A, deck B sync to deck A. You can confirm that by making sure that the BPM is the same. But if you listen closely, you will still hear that there is still overlap. So the tracks don't quite sync to each other and you might be wondering why does this happen? And if you look closely at track A, you will you might notice the problem right away. You can see that the beat grid of the tractor is not properly aligned with the beats of a track. So this is what really throws uh, the beat sync feature off in tractor. And if you can go uh, to the Q to the to the Q panel, click on Q and click on number one to go to the beginning of the track, you will see that the beat grid doesn't perfectly align with the beginning of the beat. So to fix that, you can you can do a couple of things. First off, if the tractor has analyzed the track and it, it and this is how it automatically created the the beat grid then you have to adjust it manually so to adjust this manually you have to go to the grid tab and use these two buttons here to move the beat grid left or right so in this case we're gonna have to move the beat grid left to align with the tracks beats so just hold and click the left button. And there we go. So right now, the beat grid of tractor perfectly aligns with the beats of the track. And to make sure that we got it right, let's go ahead and play uh, both tracks, synced again, and see how it sounds now. Now you can see that both tracks are in perfect beat sync. All both beats hit on target, and you can confirm that by moving the crossfade as well. Watch the transition. Perfect transition. One more time. There is no more beats overlap. Let's stop this. Another way you can do this is I'm going to purposely screw up this beat grid, get it out of sync. Then I'm going to click the auto button to automatically reanalyze the track. And there we go. Tractor got got it right, and it's in the beat grid is in perfect sync with the beats of the track. So this is just something to keep in mind because sometimes tractor doesn't quite get the beat grid properly. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen sometimes. And just so that you are aware, this is what the issue in case both decks appear to be synced but they don't sound like they're syncing. You have to do the manual adjustment. One thing you can also do uh, to prevent the somebody else messing with your with your settings of the of the BPM of the track 
or from you accidentally changing something that you didn't really want, you can click this lock icon and this is gonna lock all these controls and prevent somebody <coughs> from you know modifying this BPM of the track. So this is basically how you do beat sync in a tractor. It's very simple uh, and very efficient. So this is it for this video.